With business booming here in Hollywood North in Vancouver, there are a ton of great jobs in the film and TV business, so we thought we'd take a look behind the scenes at what happens in the wardrobe and costume department. Elisa, tell us what you do here as a costume designer on Firefly Lane. Well, I start by getting the scripts and I read them until I pretty much have them memorized and I look through them for all the little tidbits and notes about costumes and what we're going to need. Then I put my list together about what we have to get when we get our actors. We get their sizes, my shoppers go out, I go out, we bring stuff back, I put the outfits together. I have fittings, I send those boards off to make sure that everything is cool with upstairs. When upstairs is cool with it, they send it off to Netflix and they give their approval. Pretty much everything that everybody's wearing from head to toe, including everybody who's walking around the background, we have to see, we have to pre-fit, and we have to get all the costumes that really, as soon as we look at it, say, yes, this is 1980, yes, this is 2003, or whichever time period we're in. Let's talk about the room that we're in. Firefly Lane is 10 episodes for Netflix, so yes. you had to create three years of costumes here. How did you do that? Well, my assistant and I, on our second week of prep, uh, took a road trip and we hit every thrift store that we could possibly find and filled up a half ton and my minivan with like no seats in it mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and stuffed it to the gills, brought it back and that's where we started and then we sorted everything into the different time periods and into the different eras that we needed. Let's talk about uh, the rest of the people who work in your department and how this department actually works. It is a very large wheel with lots of spokes. So um, if I'm sitting in the middle as the costume designer, I have an assistant designer. She's in charge of making sure all those little bits and pieces that I was talking about actually make it through the door when they need to. Then we have a coordinator and our coordinator is in charge of HR. And then we have our shoppers. We have our cutter who gets the sketches or the illustrations that I do, and she makes all the patterns from scratch. We have a breakdown person who takes everything and makes it look like it's been worn. Hollywood North is booming. What kind of jobs are available in your end of the industry? We're always looking for more people. Um, Netflix has become a juggernaut uh, and are, is filming so many things up here that it's almost got, every once in a while a new list will come out, there'll be more shows and we're like, how are they going to get enough crew to fill, fill all these positions? And what about these guys? So if you're interested in fashion, there's a lot of great careers to be had in the film biz. For Global News, I'm Fiona Forbes. Fashion Forward is brought to you by LaSalle College Vancouver. Make creativity your way of life. LaSalle College Vancouver.